guys! Welcome back to my channel and I have been doing my darndest to get my videos up every three days but life has been handing me some pretty yucky lemons lately. For one, I'm actually sick right now. Um, again, I know. I feel like I just was sick and then all of a sudden life was like, hey Emily, you should be sick again and I was like, what can I do? You know, it's life. I basically, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you know I had the flu this weekend and then the flu kind of turned into this like weird cough thing that like won't go away and I'm actually having a hard time talking and, and like trying to record this video but I'm like literally having to stop every like 30 seconds to like have a coughing fit. Stick with me here, I'm doing my best and I have a lot of fun favorites to show you guys. It's getting to the point where it's almost kind of too late to put up your March favorites but you know what? gotta reach that deadline, gotta get it, gotta do it. So this is me getting to the March favorites now. Yes, I'm very excited and I'm very happy about life, other than the fact that I'm sick. I have only a few makeup favorites and then a lot of random fun favorites to show you guys. So let's get started with those right away. So first for makeup, I have this Clinique powder. Basically like a blended face powder they call it. So I don't know what that means, but mine's in the color medium fair. And I love this because it's light. If you can't feel it on the skin, it's not like you're wearing a powder foundation, especially if you're using this to set a foundation. I just use this on like an everyday basis because I do get a little oily on my T-zone. So I love this for that, and it's just an overall really nice powder. You get so much, like I don't think I'll ever use this up, ever. If you wanna try a new powder, definitely check this one out. Next, I have a lip product, and I lost this, and like I thought, that's the end of that. Never gonna see that product again. And then all of a sudden, I found it again, and I was like, Yay! This is Seal Bigelow's Rose Salve. You can get this at Bath & Body Works and I believe American Apparel, which yes, it's random, but it's amazing. I don't know why this is so good, but I love it and I am obsessed with putting this on my lips and even I have some eczema on my finger, I put that on there, I put it on my elbows if they're dry. It's one of those multi-purpose products that you want to have with you at all times because you never know when you're gonna be a little parched somewhere. The other plus side to this product is it smells freaking like heaven. This is my heaven right here. I have two nail polish favorites this month. Basically the two colors that I kind of went back and forth on throughout the month. Uh, the first one being the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear um, in the color gray area. This is an amazing nail polish. The formula of these are amazing. Um, definitely one of the better kind of cheap nail polishes that there are out there. And this one I actually had on for like six days. This is the Sephora by OPI nail color in the color Fiercely Fabulous and it's just like a tomatoey red. This is like my go-to red nail polish. If I have red nails on it is probably this because I love this. And you can get the most perfect color with just one coat of nail polish. It's amazing. I have one skincare favorite and then we're gonna move on to my random favorites. So my skincare favorite is from Lush. I went there looking for nothing in particular, but I kind of got talked into some stuff because the girl there was like so persuasive and I was like, girl, you get some retail tips, chops, chops, something. You got something going on. So this is Fresh Pharmacy, I believe. I think, I think that's the name. I can never remember. Um, it's basically a bar of soap for your face, which I always find so weird, but it really does work. This one has chamomile, lavender, it's very calming and soothing and nice for sensitive skin and I absolutely love this. It just feels really, really clean and um, I really like the smell too, so this is really awesome. I have a book favorite this month and I always have a book favorite. I actually have a couple of books that I really love this month, but I thought I'd show you one and I can talk about the other ones later if you guys want to know uh, more. If you want another book review, I have so many more books that I can review if you guys want me to. Um, but anyways, the book that I read this month is A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ozeki, and this is an international bestseller. I love reading about different cultures, and I actually, when I was in elementary school, I went to a multicultural school where we actually, instead of learning how to speak French like the rest of Canada, I learned how to speak Japanese, which I barely know any Japanese. I can like say very few things. I can count to six. Ichi ni san chi go roku. That's like all, and konnichiwa, and like Ringo's apple, and I, there's a few things I kind of remember, but anyways, it doesn't matter, but still, I love Japanese culture. Japanese people, I think, are just so elegant looking. Um, and this is about a Japanese girl, so it's a little dark, um, and there are some 
very mature themes. You put a lot in reading it, I feel like, emotionally, but you also get a lot out of it. I love this. If you want a good read, definitely check this out. It is definitely one of my favorite books that I've ever read, and I haven't said that for a really long time, so I love this. Yes, could I go through a video without mentioning NyQuil? No, because I'm obsessed, and this is how I sleep at night, and also how I stop calming long enough to rest. Although, last night I don't think I took a high enough dosage because I was awake at 3 a.m., which is maybe why I'm acting like this. It has antihistamine in it, which is also what's in Benadryl, which is for allergies, so it's gonna make you sleepy. It actually doesn't taste too bad. Like, you just gotta choke it back. Take it, take it like a, like a girl, like a man, like a female, like a human. Okay, my boyfriend just bought me tickets to see Divergent tonight. Hell yeah! I'm so excited. We got center seats. Woo! Music this month. Oh my goodness, I have been obsessed with Albert Hammond Jr. Who is that? I don't know. I found them and I was like, I like this shit. Favorite songs, oh my gosh. <sighs> I like In Transit, I like Back to the 101, I like Holiday. Go check them out, I'll link a song down below if you guys wanna check them out. And also, as I mentioned in my morning get ready with me video, I told you guys about songs uh, and how I'm like obsessed with 90s crowd pleaser playlist and it is amazing. If you haven't listened to it and you're born in the 90s or like near that time, you will love it. So go check it out. It's got some just classic, hilarious 90s music that is like, <sighs> love 90s music. That concludes my March favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. I did not die in the filming of this video. Thank goodness. So I will see you all very soon and uh, wish me luck on you know life and I wish you luck in life and I will see you all in three days that's six three three days bye bye